You said I found your your corpse. Are you? Oh yeah, are, are you? You're alive. You. Wait. Hello. Ah ah, that's a witch. Oh, oh, that's hello. a witch. Ah ha. I'm taking this pickaxe I just stole from you, and I'm beating the I'm beating this witch to death. Get over here. Get over here, fool. Nah, my neighborhood. Nah, my neighborhood. How how is she still alive? How okay? I'm bolting. Uh, you stole stuff from me. I stole a pickaxe from you. Tried to beat the witch to death. Then that pickaxe broke. Sorry about that. Uh, your audio is dead. That's cause my everything is dead. No, no, please, Ben, kill the witch. Ah, kill go. the witch. Kill the witch. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to another video, guys. I'm a bit, I'm Bad Video Games, and you guys are here in Bedrock Modded Survival. Um, I kind of explained it at the very beginning. I didn't, wasn't recording then because my software hates me on a personal level. But we are here and we are doing things. Now, I've actually lo managed to get myself all the way over here. And I'm just going to chill here, you know. Look how flat it is. It is amazing. And all, all these flowers, though. Like, I can I could sell this. I could sell this. There are, two there are two types of mods in this server. The type of quality of life ones that we all just, like, you know, want. Stuff like, um, just en enhancements. Like... For example, I try to do one player sleep. I don't know if it works. It should work, but if it doesn't work, oops. And there are mob heads, and there are also um, better armor stands, and there are birds chirping in the distance. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're there. There's also a few um, other things. So the other type of mod I've added is um, content mods. These just add extra content. Like, for example, there's weapon pedestals. There are statues and avatars. And there's also... Um, you know, just a few things I added. One of them is new caves. So if you go to um, certain swamp caves and um, swamp caves, ice caves, there's a new nether biome, new nether caves. And um, what are the other ones? There's a mushroom cave. And then there's finally, a, did I say an ice cave? There's a desert cave too. But the point is it's a bunch of new caves. Also, this house, this house is going to look absolutely terrible. But believe me, I'm, I'm trying my best. Leave me alone. I haven't played like, I actually wanted to just play a Minecraft server. But I realized that I wanted to add like some stuff to keep people playing. I didn't want it to just like die. So I that's why I added all these mods. People would like actually have something interesting about the server, you know, something that makes it unique, more or less. So that's kind of what this is. It's it's like a it's basically a survival server first, and then the, the the mods are added like after the fact, you know. It's not really focused around the mods. Actually, I guess it kind of is focused around the mods. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I, I came wandering a little bit down the mountain right here. So over there is like the actual uh, my hut, my hut I made. Is it a good hut? Um, but uh, over here is actually um something else. So let's go check this out. Dun 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 dun. One player sleep probably is not working. That's not good. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. <laughs> there was no point to doing that. I had no reason. Ooh, a bunny. I'm gonna kill it. I, I've no one Oh, it dropped a bunny head. So the way these uh, mob heads work is that the different dyes do different things. So if I get, um, like, right now I have a yellow die, which is kind of useful, but not really. Uh, anyway, I have a yellow die, and I can do, like, I can make it move to the side. What? And actually, if I have white die, but I can do, I can make it smaller, and I can make it bigger. It got really dark all of a sudden. That's weird. Oh. So I could make it bigger, but I need a different die for that, so for now I'm just gonna take, take that, and then do that, so that fixed it. And finally, finally, we're going to craft the backpack, the backpack and the backpack remover, which are two different items. Why? I'm actually not sure. It's interesting design. It's going to spawn in the ground, which I've already tested that. It's fine. It's just a really weird thing it does. 
But now, if you guys can see, I'm wearing a backpack. Isn't it beautiful? I know it's beautiful. Anyway, um, so I'm wearing a backpack now. And if I want to get it off, I simply have to use the backpack remover. I just tossed it into my furnace. That's not what I meant to do. Where did it go? No. Ah! I'm sorry, there's a corpse. That was my, my, I, I can't delete my corpses half the time. I don't know why. Like, there's one on the mountain if you've seen it. But it's, I just can't get rid of it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw it in the lake. And it's me, editing bad here. So I want to close up the video by saying that we did do a few more things, to be honest. We um, built a mob spawner, went down to the caves, discovered copper armor, and that was pretty much it. But I was having issues with my audio, so I just decided to cut it here. But don't worry, there will be a video next week-ish, ish, ish, kind of, maybe maybe next week. I, uh, and this this series will continue. I, I hope everybody had a lot of fun playing. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. And, uh, yeah, so please tune in next time, because I already am working on that video. Goodbye!